in um, you mentioned uh, this notion of gal galactic algorithm, the mm -hmm. algorithm which will never be used in practice because uh, mm -hmm. any effect would never be noticed in, the, in this galaxy. Mm -hmm. uh, can you elaborate on that? Uh, well, uh, uh, log log n is five, <laughs> <laughs> and log star n is a much lower number. Uh, and uh, I, there's nothing wrong with basic, basic research. There's uh, nothing wrong with getting improvements in these types of factors. Mm -hmm. uh, my problem is that uh, uh, people sometimes get those results, but in the opening paragraph or the closing paragraph, they'll say, this has the potential to be important in practice, uh -huh. uh, when there's actually no way, no way it would ever be noticed uh, in practice. And so you shouldn't be making statements about potential implica implications when you know, uh, if you're not disconnected from reality, uh, that there's no way. Uh, and we, we have examples of this all the time. Award-winning papers, uh -huh. uh, they get an N to the 1-6 improvement in the worst case performance yeah. and, uh, with never implementing it. And I guess you <laughs> you make this point clear in the uh, 226 the algorithms course that all notation is useful for many things, but it's not useful to predict performance. It was actually developed by Poincaré as the basis for asymptotic series. Mm -hmm. uh, so we use it in later terms, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to indicate that we could get more terms if we wanted. Yeah. The theoretical computer scientists co-opted that to also lump in uh, worst case performance. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, the way it's used in computer science is really antithetical to the way it was developed. It was developed to indicate you could get more accuracy if you wanted. Ah. And it's, so it's being misused. Very true. <laughs>